Hello everyone, it is me Ilian from DM Trading Bulgaria and the time has come for me to make a weekly recap. In this recap we are going to talk a little bit about our uh, two tra forex trading plans which I shared with you last week, they were short term trading plans. Uh, we are going to cover their development, we are going to talk a little bit about uh, the life signals I shared uh, on them and of course we are going to talk a little bit about uh, the future expectations on those pairs. Now first uh, <clears throat> I'm going to start with the Euro Japanese currency pair trading plan uh, which I shared Tuesday last week with you and you can currently see the plan on trading view. A few quick words, uh, the idea of the plan was that uh, here the pair reached this H4 resistance area uh, from which it bounced very strongly and uh, since we were in an overall down downtrend I expected for the price to make a new wave down after this upswing here reaching back to the previous bottom which is our H4 support area. Um, I placed a second H4 resistance area just in case uh, we saw a break of this H4 resistance area so we uh, was going to look for entries either here or if we saw a break all the way up here. Uh, as you can see there is also M15 zone of, of confirmation. Uh, this is an area which uh, acted as a support area for the M15 trends. So uh, we were waiting for a break out of it and then to look for an entry. So it can be more safe. Let's see how the plan developed. After I posted it, uh, you can see the price dropped below this M15 zone of confirmation, retraced back to it and then made a new um, beautiful wave down all the way to the H4 support area from where it bounced and currently is standing all the way up here at this H4 resistance area. Uh, let's check out the trade I shared with you on this pair. As you can see our entry was placed uh, at the end of this M15 candle. This is the M15 time frame live. Uh, <clears throat> I decided to enter here because uh, this is the candle that actually broke out of this zone of confirmation and uh, I placed my stop loss above it as I didn't expect for the price to retrace back about this uh, area. As you can see uh, after the, en the entry we had a down uh, move then the price retraced back up for a while, uh, reached this zone of confirmation which now acted as a resistance area and from there we saw a drop reaching all the way to our take profit uh, level here. This position gave us 95.5 pips of profit which was great after that I didn't post any more entries, uh, I'm going to switch to the H1 time frame uh, just so I can see where the price is now and tell you what my expectations are. Now uh, as you can see the price already reached this next H4 resistance area so we have a second chance for a sell trade here. Uh, this is the previous top uh, which was made by the price. So if we see a break of this top, this will be a confirmation for a new downtrend wave and this H4 resistance area has now turned into an H4 support area. So uh, this will be our main target for a sell trade here. Of course I'll look on the M15. Uh, as you can see here the previous top is a little bit higher so um, what I would do is I'll make this zone on this candle here where we had uh, something like that where we uh, had some corrections a few times here then you can see here how it bounced even here on this candle then after the break it acted as a support so I would wait for a break of this area uh, maybe a correction back up to it and then a new wave down to the previous H4 resistance which is now H4 support. So we have a nice chance here for an entry I'll monitor it and, and I believe uh, in the next 
two to three days, uh, this scenario could happen. I won't uh, be looking for an entry if we see a break of this H4 resistance and continuation of the uptrend here. Uh, this is it for the Euro Japanese and currency pair trading plan. The other one uh, I shared on Thursday and it was based on the Euro Canadian dollar. Again, it was a short term trading plan. Uh, the price here reached yet another H1 uh, resistance area. Uh, my expectations after this upswing was for the price to bounce off here and probably reach back down to this H1 support area. Uh, on the H4 we had a full cycle completed of 5 waves. So this uh, area was also the uh, bottom of wave three, wave 3 on H4. Um, as you can see, I uh, made two possible scenarios, either a drop from here or a break of this area, then a small correction and a continuation of the uptrend to this uh, next resistance area over here. Let's see how the plan developed. So we saw a small bounce from here, not a very good one. Uh, I had a small support here which was not broken, so I decided uh, I'll wait a little bit more on this plan. Uh, after that, we saw the break, we saw the small correction here and a continuation reaching all the way up to this resistance. So now we have another chance for an entry here as well. Um, every Euro Japanese Yen and Euro CAD like, are kind of correlated, so it doesn't matter on which one we will enter. If one goes down, the other will most likely go down as well. Uh, I shared one live sign on the EuroCAD yesterday, but unfortunately it failed. Uh, this is the place I decided to enter. It was because uh, this previous top here was broken very strongly by a few uh, bearish candles. This is the M15 time frame, by the way. But as you can see, uh, it quickly reversed and just made a huge wave up. This was our stop loss. It was hit in a matter of like an hour or two. Uh, quite unexpected move here, but uh, in the summer you can see those moves from time to time. So uh, we lost some pips here around uh, 20, I believe, but that's not a big loss as we made a huge profit on your Japanese yen from the live trade last week. Uh, currently, as I said, we are here. Um, still, the price didn't. Uh, reach this resistance area and this is the previous stop so at this point here I would monitor uh, what will happen but I believe we can see a uh, drop to here then probably a new wave up to the resistance area over here and then for a more stronger drop from there so I will be looking either to enter here or if we see a break of this previous stop on M15 I'll look for an entry somewhere here, but with less investment. Uh, this H1 resistance here that was broken has now turned to a support level. This is the recap for today. Those are my future predictions. Uh, I will post live signals on Telegram and Twitter. So follow us on Twitter so you get notified or join us on our official Telegram channel. I wish everyone a profitable week.